Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Alves again for story time. So today I'm going to read you a story called Mouse Soup. And it was written by Arnold Lobel. Look at that. Isn't he a familiar author? Who knows why he's so familiar? What other books does he write that we've been reading? That's right. Our um, Frog and Toad books, right? Our friends, Frog and Toad. It's the same author. And who knows the job of an author? He has a very special job. What does he do? Yep, he writes the stories. And in this case, he's also the illustrator of this story. So... This is actually a chapter book. So just like when we were learning about nonfiction, I told you that sometimes fiction books also have a table of contents. So this one right here, it's going to show you that this book has four different chapters. You see that? So I'm going to read you Bees and the Mud that start on page 12. So let's see what's going to happen in this story. Are we ready? Okay, so let's see if we can make some connections maybe to um, another story we read or maybe a personal uh, connection, so a self-to-text connection or a text-to-text. -text. So let's see. So it's called Bees and the Mud. A mouse was walking through the woods. A nest of bees fell from a tree. It landed on top of his head. Bee, said the mouse, you will have to fly away. I do not want a nest of bees sitting on top of my head. Hmm, you know what? I can make a text-to-text -text connection right here. This kind of sounds like the story I read to you yesterday with Piggy and Gerald, remember? Who had birds on his head? Gerald, was he happy? Not really. So I don't think Mouse over here is too happy either. So let's see what's going to happen. But the bee said, we like your ears. We like your nose. We like your whiskers. Oh yes, this is a fine place for our nest. We will never fly away, said the bees. The mouse was upset. He did not know what to do. The buzzing of the bees was very loud. The mouse walked on. He came to a muddy swamp. Gerald, in yesterday's story, was not very happy to have the birds on his head either. Bees, said the mouse, I have a nest like yours. It is my home. If you want to stay on my head, you will have to come home with me. Oh, yes, said the bees. We like your ears. We like your nose. We like your whiskers. We will be glad to come home with you. Very well, said the mouse. He stepped into the mud, up to his knees. Here's my front door, said the mouse. Oh, yes, said the bees. The mouse stepped into the mud, up to his waist. Here is my living room, said the mouse. Oh, yes, said the bees. You know what I think he's doing? I think he's trying to scare them away because I don't think he really lives in the swamp. Let's find out. The mouse stepped into the mud up to his chin. Here is my bedroom, said the mouse. Oh, yes, said the bees. I don't think his plan is working so far. Let's keep reading. And now I will go to sleep said the mouse. He ducked his head under the mud. Oh no, said the bees. We like your front door. We like your living room. We like your bedroom. But no, 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 we do not like your bed. The bees jumped up into the air and flew away. The mouse went home to take a bath. So what did he do? That's right. Trick the bees. I told you that was really not his house, right? He was just trying to get rid of all the bees. So I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, now, um, do you see how Miss House made some connections between this story and the story I read to you yesterday? So those are called 
text-to-text -text connections. There's three types of connections we can make. Do you remember what they are? A self-to-text, that's when a story makes you think of something that has happened to you, to someone you know, to something that has happened in your life. Then you can do a text-to-text, -text, like Ms. Alice did just now, where you're comparing two books, or you can do text to the world. Sometimes those are a little more difficult to make, okay? So stay tuned. I don't know who's going to read you a story next time. So just um, keep watching, okay? Bye, enjoy your weekend.